welcome to an example of something that you can use Tides version 2 for. Uh, if you haven't already seen it, I have a couple of tutorial videos describing what all the knobs in the different modes do. In this video, I want to take a look at doing something that's maybe a little different. Um, it's using Tides as kind of a harmonic oscillator that reacts to another oscillator. Now, before we get into there, I want to talk a little bit about this port here, this clock port. I didn't really talk a bunch about this in the tutorial video, but this this acts like what you would expect. So right now, you can see I'm in LFO mode speedwise, and I'm in oscillating mode or looping mode. If we were to just turn this knob, we're kind of in we're kind of in free sync mode. We're not really synchronized to anything. Over here on the side, you can see I've got a couple of different clock signals, and if I was to take a clock signal and patch it in here, Tides will synchronize itself to it. Now, the way that this works is straight up and down, it's basically a synchronized one-to-one -one copy. So you can see here what this is flashing at is basically the same rate that this here is flashing at. If I go to the left, it will divide that. So there you can see we're probably about half or so. And if I was to go to the right, it will multiply that. At the extreme far left, this will be a sixteenth of whatever our clock signal is. And at the stream, uh, sorry, at the extreme far left, it will be divided by 16. And at the extreme far right, it will be multiplied times 16. So this signal here is going to be going blazing fast. If I were to zoom in here, you would see that, yeah, we're flying. Now, one thing to note is I'm in I'm in the green LFO mode, and it kind of doesn't matter that I'm in that mode because once I've patched a clock signal, it it just it's going to do the the division or the multiplication. Okay, so that's all well and good. This is maybe the intended usage, but there's another neat usage. What if we took the square wave from another oscillator? and patched that into the clock. It would synchronize tides to oscillate at the exact same frequency as the primary oscillator, except we could turn the frequency knob and we could either subdivide that down, which would give us a sub-oscillator, or we could multiply it to give us additional harmonics that we can pitch up towards. Let me patch that up and we'll take a listen. So I've added a few patch points here. We're going to use Dixie as our primary oscillator. You can see I have taken the saw wave output of Dixie and I've patched it into the mixer. I've also taken one of the outputs of Tides and I've patched that into the mixer on a second channel. We've got that turned down now. Over here, uh, I've basically got everything kind of set normal. So here I'm in triangular shape mode and I've got it skewed over to the left so we'll be getting a sawtooth. Uh, no smoothness or wave folding and I've got the shift level in the middle so that these are all just copies of each other. I've got my frequency knob straight up and down so this tides should basically give us exactly the same thing as we're hearing here on Dixie except just with a different waveform. Let me bring this up a little bit. I'm going through ripples over here on the left just so it doesn't come out super bright. Right now, we're only listening to Dixie. If I was to bring up Tides. So now Tides is in the mix, and you can hear it doesn't, it doesn't really sound that much different. If we move this frequency knob, though, we'll start to get subharmonics to the left or harmonics to the right.
So I think that's really cool. Uh, what if we, what if we sequenced the frequency of tides? So we sequence the division, and we leave our primary oscillator playing at exactly the same starting pitch. Let me let me get that wired up. I've added a couple more things to this patch. Um, first of all, I'm now incorporating Renee. I've just got a basic clock signal coming in, and we're going to use the Y channel. The YCV will sequence what the value of Tide's frequency is, and the Y gate is going over here to Quadrex, which will just give us an attack decay envelope. So we get a little bit of articulation here on ripples. So here it is with nothing happening. And you can see here, um, I'm constraining the axis to just these kind of bottom knobs. So we'll only sequence these first three here. And right now I've got the attenuator down, but I can turn it up. fun way to just take a couple of basic pieces and the combination of changing the attenuator value, changing the frequency value, playing with your filter and tossing in some drums and you can put together a basic patch.
right? Have fun, everyone.